Hello! My name is Ram and welcome to another video of Matok Lasan. In the world of finance, time is often expressed in days rather than months. Two kinds of times are being used, exact time and approximate time. So when we use these types to find the interest, we have ordinary and exact interest. In an ordinary interest, denoted in this video as I sub O, assume that there are 360 days in a year. So the simple interest formula becomes I sub O equals P for the principal amount times the rate given times the number of days divided by 360. On the other hand, exact interest denoted in this video as I sub E, assume that there are 365 days in a year. So the simple interest formula becomes I sub E equals P for the principal times rate given times number of days divided by 365. Note that ordinary interest is always greater than exact interest. That is why it is sometimes called banker's interest because most banks use this method. And in this tutorial, when interest is not specified in any problem, it is assumed as ordinary interest. Let's take a look at this example. Find the ordinary and exact interest on 15,300 pesos for 90 days at 73 fifths percent simple interest. So let's find the ordinary interest first. The principal is 15,300 pesos. The rate is 7 and 3 fifths, which could also be written into 7.6%. So this is 7.6% times 90 over 360 days. We are using uh, ordinary interest, so we need to change the denominator into 360. And here, the answer will be 290.7 pesos. When you are using your calculator, you can also write this in decimal form, which is 0 0.076 without the percent if you're going to input it on your calculator. Now, what if we're going to solve for the exact interest? If we are finding the exact interest, we will just follow the same formula. But we need to change the denominator into 365. And the answer is... 286.72 pesos. So our discussion a while ago is correct because the ordinary interest is greater than the exact interest. Let's try another example. Find the ordinary and exact interest on 10,600 pesos for 105 days at 8.23% simple interest. Let's solve for the ordinary interest first. So we have 10,600 times the rate, which is 8.23% times 105 over 360 days. So here, the answer is 254.44 pesos. While if we're going to look for the exact interest. We have 10,600, 8.23% times 105. And now changing 360 to 365 will give us a value of 250.96 pesos. Now, how about this example? Natsu borrowed 30,000 pesos from a financing company charging 11.8% simple interest for 180 days. How much did Natsu pay back the company at the end of the term? So here we can see that the principal amount is 30,000 pesos. The rate is 11.8%. So let's try writing it here.
then we have the number of days as 180. And since the type of interest was not mentioned, we will assume that this is a ordinary interest. So the time in an ordinary interest is 180 divided by 360. And now we need to find the interest amount. But also note that this problem also asks us about the total amount that Natsu paid the company at the end of the term. So in this case, we need F or the final amount. And to get the final amount, we just need to add the principal and the ordinary interest. So let's try solving for the ordinary interest first. We have 30,000 times the rate 11.8% times 180 over 360. And the answer for this is 1,770 pesos. This is not yet the final answer because Natsu needs to pay the total amount. So this is P, which is 30,000 plus the ordinary interest that we got, which is 1,770, which will give us 31,770 pesos. So Natsu did pay 31,770 pesos to the company at the end of the term. At what simple exact interest rate should Gray invest his 25,500 so that it earns 5,500 in 5 years and 175 days? Since the rate is ask here, we're going to use R equals interest divided by principal over time. It was derived from the formula I equals PRT, dividing both sides by P and T. We'll be able to have this formula. And for this, we can see that the interest is equal to 5,500 pesos. The principal amount is equal to 25,500 pesos. Now, how about T? Notice here that five years was given. So, since we are assuming an exact interest, we need to multiply 5 to 365 days which will give us 1825 now adding 1825 to another 175 will give us a value of 2000 but remember that we are talking of an exact interest so we need to consider dividing this to 365 and we can now start solving for the rate rate is equal to 5500 which is the interest divided by principal which is 25500 multiplied to this is time which is 2000 divided by 300 65. And this will give us a decimal value of 0 0.0394. Multiply it to 100, we'll have 3.94%. And that's all for this video. If you want more video tutorials in math, please check my playlists in the description down below. And please, 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 like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video.